Hi everyone, hope you're doing well and staying safe, which at this point it feels like it's gotten to the point where it's meaningless to even say that because that's how I also start all of my work emails. But anyway, today I'm going to be filming what's become almost an annual video on my channel, as sad as that is, but even though this channel is generally about books, I am an incredibly sentimental person and I love the idea of being in my mid 80s and being able to look back and see all the different places I lived and explored in my 20s. My first videos I think I filmed in my high school bedroom even though I was in college whenever I would travel home. Then I moved to Spain and was an English teacher and worked as an English teacher for a year. Then I moved back to the States for grad school which and somehow that video is also my most viewed video of all time I think on my channel is strange as that is. And then after I finished grad school, I've been working for the same company for three years, which is crazy to think it's been three years, but I was part of a rotational program with them. So, so first I was living in New Jersey. I lived next door to a cemetery, which was amazing. It was beautiful. Then I moved to Atlanta and then I moved to where I'm living now, which I don't think I've ever said before, aside from saying it's in the Midwest. But now that I'm moving, I will say that I'm currently living in Wisconsin. And I've been here for about a year. And this is a very hard decision and a big life change, but the reason that I'm moving now, and I hope this is gonna be one of my last moves for a very long time, is because about a few weeks ago, I put in my two weeks notice at my company I've been at again since I finished school, and I'm now working for a different company. Obviously, it doesn't matter I'm here right now, since with my job, luckily I can work virtually, but once we're able to go back into the office, the role is back on the East Coast, so I will be moving back to the East Coast. And I'm actually gonna hopefully be moving within the next couple weeks. It's is it fun to move in the middle of a pandemic? No, but my lease also ends in May. So let's get into the apartment tour. So this apartment is from the 1800s and that's the thing I definitely love most about it. It's also a loft style, meaning I always thought loft meant when it's two levels with like an open bedroom up top, but what loft also can mean is just that it's entirely open in the sense that the bedroom's on the same level as the living room, but there's no full wall separating it. I will say one of the things I will miss about the Midwest is that this apartment is awesome. I think about 800 square feet and only a little over $1,000 a month, so I'm definitely gonna miss the prices here. The kitchen was not anything fancy. I know this complex has ones that are nicer with like stainless steel if you wanna pay for pay more every month, but that's just not something that matters to me so long as the kitchen's functional. I don't care that much what it looks like. I will say I have Red Baron, I have that antique Red Baron sign up because it was, was my favorite frozen pizza, but now having come to the Midwest, they have so much better frozen pizza than we do back on the East Coast. Home run in, hedgies, lots of matzo, oh my God. The living room was definitely my favorite aspect of this apartment because none of the original features from the 1800s are unfortunately still up, but I loved that you could at least see the brick wall and you could see how old the building was through that. I get a lot of questions about where my couch is from and it's just from Walmart and I don't shop a ton at Walmart, but I wanted some, I wanted this this specific type of couch in this color and most of the other options I saw online were, were, were unfortunately just way too expensive. My dad was the one who had the idea to use the cinder blocks to hold that antique up and that's one thing I always recommend doing is seeing what things even if they normally wouldn't be something that would go inside an apartment you can incorporate because I think we just found those for free and it kind of fit with the industrial vibe of the ceiling in this apartment. The bathroom pretty straightforward but I did find this curtain our shower curtain from Society6 that I absolutely loved because I'm not someone who loves having tons of artwork hanging up, especially in a place like the bathroom, but I wanted something interesting in there and I thought the shower curtain was the best place to do that. The bedroom is the only room in this whole apartment, well I say the only one in this whole apartment, there are like two rooms, <laughs> um, that I never really loved and that's only because it had no windows. You would get a little bit of sunlight from it not having a completely full wall, but not a lot. My dad very kindly installed a light up top, which I Everyone obviously needs a candelabra, I feel. This one, I think I got really cheap at an antique store. It looked kind of rough, and then my mom or I, I can't remember, we spray painted it black. 
So that was my very quick apartment tour. There wasn't a lot to say because it's a lot of the same furniture I've had in a lot of my past apartments, but I loved this apartment so much and I feel so lucky to have lived in a place from the 1800s because I already found my new apartment back on the East Coast and it doesn't even compare and it's a lot more money, which I'm not looking forward to, but I am looking forward to finally, after like six years, finally moving closer to home. Feel free to follow me on Instagram if you want to see me chronicling my cross country move during a pandemic. It's going to be interesting and I'm gonna try and of course do it as safely as possible. I'm not normally one to ask, but it does really help out my channel if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, so please do, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.